Now it's time to break it. And we're back to Split Screeners Podcast. <laughs> I'm just trying to do stuff. All right. Joined as always by Gavin Campbell. His name's Zach, by the way. I don't care. <laughs> Aaron Mazaros yeah. and Nick Limblu. You can find him at Zach's Feeds at OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're sucked today. Mm-hmm. In this episode, to strip them. Yeah. If you are extra. coming here for our movie episode, thank you so much for watching that. If you are coming here for our movie episode, what are you doing? We're putting out so much content. Why are you not watching our other videos? And if you have a reason. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Give, yeah, us, give us the fucking reason. Give us the sauce. But this is our movie yeah, movie, so. bookie, bookie episode. This is our movie version of our book club. I really love that name. It's so much fun to say. We need a logo for that. This was our... Corey, get on that. Lost Pastor. We were not prepared for this episode, but... In this episode of Movie Movie Bookie Bookie, we are going to be talking about Dead Poets Society. This was Aaron's pick. Uh, who hadn't seen this movie before? Me. So let's start with Zach. You know, I really liked it. It's a little bit of on the slow side. Um, but it's a coming of age, college type story where these kids are kind of learning to become their own people. Um, Robin Williams is the main teacher that's shown off in this movie. And he's a phenomenal actor. Like, I love everything he is. In. He's one of those actors that mm-hmm. join the elite list of incredible talent like Will Smith. Um, or every movie they're in, I will watch just because they're in it. Um, I really like this one. I'm not going to give it a rating just yet because I'm still kind of mulling that over in my head. But like I said, kind of a slow build. I love the story in it. Kind of That's be cool. your own person. Um... Go against the grain. Have your own thoughts. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Nick, since you called on me first. <laughs> um, this is a movie that I've seen multiple times. I love Robin Williams. He's probably, if we ever do a top favorite actors list, which I'm sure will come up in a top ten at some point, he will 100% be my top five. Um, Zach is right. The, the build to this movie is slower. Uh, but I think that's what makes you come to like the characters so much is that you get to learn so much about all these kids and what they're going through in their life before anything insane happens towards the end of the movie. And, um, it really is. It's a story about friendship. It's a story about coming of age. Uh, you know, all the, all the things that kids are going through and the pressures that kids are put under, uh, in life. And I absolutely love, Robin Williams' performance as their teacher in this movie. Uh, some of the kids I know didn't more than many other things. Um, but Ethan, that I know of. Ethan Hawke is in this movie. Yeah, yeah, he looks so young. Yeah. The other one that I kind of recognized was Robert Sean Leonard. Um, trying to pull up what he's done so far. But yeah, all throughout this movie, I'm like, I recognize this guy. What? The, who the hell is this guy? And now I'm trying to look. And I'm probably going to find nothing that I have actually seen. <laughs> um, it's just the way that this movie flows and you see these kids uh, and the way they are with their parents and now they have this teacher who's letting them express themselves in a different kind of way. And That's what uh, he's in. It's just great to see that story arc evolve. Once so, again. Yeah. The guy that I was thinking about, is he's one of the side characters in House, the TV oh, show okay. with um, Hugh Laurie. He's um, James Wilson or Dr. Wilson. House MD. He's like, House is like best friend slash co-worker. Gavin? I liked it. <laughs> uh, I was like, it's a good movie. I've seen it before. So it was a lot of just kind of popping back up. I do like, I do actually like how slow it is. Again, it lets you get to understand the kids a lot better. You get to understand kind of the motivations. You get to see, you get to understand what the culture they're in is. Yeah. Uh, which, if you never had a very strict, I was like, I've never been to a boarding school. Uh, I'd imagine no one here has. No. Nope. So we don't know. So Public schools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Public education. Yeah, but it, but it's a fun movie. Uh, the entire the acting of the kids and of all the adult of the entire cast is honestly very good. 
it's uh, amazing that only two people actually went on to do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> really. But yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's a really good movie. I appreciate the slow build. You just have to be awake enough <laughs> yeah. to uh, get through it. But it's one of my favorite movies. Um, haven't watched it in a long time. And I'd forgotten how little Robin Williams is actually in this yeah. film. For a whole pivotal he is. Though. For yeah, he's a pivotal character still, with limited screen time, but he nails it. He is an amazing actor. He actually remi kind of reminded me of a teacher we had in our high school a little bit. Um, name is failing me as usual. Mr. Brown. No, not Mr. Brown. Mr. Whiteford. Not Mr. Whiteford. <laughs> still works. Sub substitute teacher. Schlatter? Oh, Schlatter, Mr. Yeah. Schlatter. There we go. Yeah. He'd always kind of come into your classroom and you knew you were going to have like a life-changing lesson that day. Um, always kind of like give you those, not the lessons that the teachers wanted you to have that day. And eventually they got used to it. Um, but he would give you life lessons, like the stuff you needed to learn and should learn. Other than like, how well. They never really taught me how to do taxes in school either, so, <laughs> yeah. That was, that was called finance class. I don't think I took finance. Oh. Um, you got any fun facts, Zach? I was hoping Aaron would come up with this, since it was his... But you're on the page. I know. Yeah, this is like the first time I like actually read it through it, so I didn't have any good picked out yet. Um... Liam Neeson had originally landed the leading role to be directed by Jeff Kanu, but lost it to Robin Williams mm. when director Peter Ware came aboard. Um, let's see here. Boo! <laughs> Sorry, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, River Phoenix wanted to play the Neil Perry, uh, play Neil Perry, but the role went to Robert Sean Leonard, who I said was in House. Later in life. Life. Um House, Rogue House. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> so it sounds like a no. Uh, Bill Murray was once considered to play John Keaton as well, the teacher. Um. The only Best Picture Oscar nominee of the year to also be nominated for Original Screen pay, Play. Yeah. Great movie. I liked it a lot. Uh, what would you guys rate it? Starting at this end of the table. Out of ten. That's what we've been doing. Eight. Eight? Solid score. I will give it an eight as well. Eight's around. You haven't even got to me yet, actually. Jeez. Zach's going with a three. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's all around. It, yeah. it's, it has its flaws, but overall, it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. F fucking killer movie, actually. Mm -hmm. um, Go see it. <laughs> Coming you soon. 1989. <laughs> Go back in time to see this movie. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm way too out of it to know what's going on right now. Yes, Gavin, it is your turn next to pick the movie. No, that uh, was not what he was saying. Oh, what? He was going back, bringing it around again. Yeah. Full, Full circle! circle Full circle! It's like I'm in Isekai! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> it is it Gavin's it turn. Is pick, Gavin. So I have two options here. One, none of you have seen it. <laughs> I kind of don't want this one. <laughs> one, most of you, I think, have you seen Swiss Army Man? Mm -mm. So two people haven't seen it. See, there's one I'm interested in, one that I'm kind of like cautiously <laughs> like, but we, yeah, it could be good. You know, we watched a movie today with Red Foreman, who's from the 70s show, so we should watch another movie based in the 70s. Or you should make up your own mind and not ask us to dig our own graves. That's smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are watching a very Brady sequel. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> That's all right. Everyone's talking mad shit, but... If you have seen this movie, you'll be excited for it. Here, I'll get. <laughs> Here, give us a synopsis, I, and only this. You, you showed us a trailer or something a few weeks ago. Now I'm excited. So the trusting and anachronistic Brady family gets a harsh jolt of the 1990s reality uh, when a scheming con artist, Trevor Thomas, played by Tim Matheson, shows up at their home, claiming that he's the long lost first husband of Brady matriarch Carol. 
Her real husband, good-natured Mike, is none too happy about their house guest. The Brady kids eventually catch wind of the deception, leading to an antic-filled excursion to Hawaii when the imposter steals a prized family possession. Is this Marsha, one, Marsha, Marsha! A very Brady sequel? A yes. very Brady sequel. Okay. It is now on the list. <laughs> and you just made the it's list! Official. It's only an hour and 30 minutes. All right. That's good. I was, I was like, I've been going for shorter ones. Lost the pastures there. Yeah. Um, no, I'm excited. I realistically, because we're, I was just looking at the top ten and trying to do my top ten list. I've, I've enjoyed every movie that we've watched so far, um, to some extent or another. Yeah. And so I'm excited to, to watch a new one yeah. that I haven't seen. It. I think it'll be fun. To keep in mind, even if it's not. This good. is taking the premise. So the first. Obviously, you don't, no one needs to watch the first one. The first one's not as funny, in my opinion. The second one's far funnier. It's better. The first one is funny, but not for the... But, like... For different reasons. The, so, the first one's more of, like, like a like a period comedy, where it's, like, it's like it's 1990s. They're from the 70s still, so, like, they're all, everything's 1990s, but they're still in their 70s, like, get up and shit. This one's much more, like, fucking balls to the walls. What the fuck is happening? It's great. Hmm. Uh, the only thing I can always say to, to sell this... That I think always works great. Uh, that I always like to do, which I ever told you guys, and which I'll tell you guys, the Brady's take magic mushrooms in this movie. All of them. If they're not actually sitting around in a circle and on purpose taking mushrooms, I'm gonna be very disappointed. You, you'll have to watch to find out. Uh, but it's it's, it's a, probably accidental. It's funny. It's fun. It's a fun movie. He's not denying it. <laughs> All right. Oh, so yeah. this was a quick movie, movie, boogie, boogie episode compared to some of ours, but... All right, before we end, on the subject of, the, of today's movie, favorite Robin Williams movie, oh, start on that end once again. Oh. Way to uh, spring it. Yeah? Damn. Just add a... We got to make 10 minutes. We probably made 10 minutes, but... Flubber. <laughs> Zach, what's yours? I was going to say Flubber, but now I have to come up with something else. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't just be like your friends, you dick. No, I should have gone first. Ooh, I already know. Damn. I need oh, to look that up. Is it Good Will Hunting? It is Good Will Hunting. <laughs> good Will Hunting. Uh, probably my, in my top five favorite movies of all time. Uh, a close, very close second for me would be Jumanji. One of my favorite movies as a kid of all time. Do you, do you know what was really tripping me up? Aladdin. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. that's great. But I've watched Flubber more than ever. He's got it. nothing but bangers, man. Miss yeah. Doubtfire. Uh, Jack. Jack. Uh, Patch Adams. Uh, uh, Pam. A uh, hook. 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 Mrs. Doubtfire. Said it. Oh, you did. Patch Adams. You said, said it. it. <laughs> I'm actually being Gavin right Yeah, now. you are. Flubber. Gavin just said, said it. it. I know. I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> Jumanji. So, <laughs> Fern Gully. I'm gonna go live action. Oh, uh, uh, one hour photo. One hour photo. Yeah. I'm gonna go Jumanji. Yeah, Jumanji I'm glad that made somebody's. Uh, Aladdin would probably be my overall favorite, but I want to go live action, where he's the full actor. Yeah, not just that was kind of where I was too. I was like, I'll just. God, I haven't seen Flubber in forever. I know. Such a good. Movie. I don't think you can get on DVD or Blu-ray right now. Bicentennial Man. Bicentennial Night Man's great. Night at the I'm, Museum. I think I have mine. If I can remember, if it's the right movie, I'm thinking of. My Sapphire. Oh, no. actually, here's one that wasn't a banger. Yep. RV. I actually don't mind RV. I, I like I RV, RV, but it's not a banger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go with Jack. Jack. What about the Popeye? Jack, what about the Popeye Jack, movie? Jack is one of those Robin Williams movies that will make me cry every single every time. Every fucking time. <laughs> yeah, but it's so good. He was in he was in Happy Feet. I hate Happy Feet. I don't think we said at the beginning of the show because Zach just went hog wild. But I love going hog wild. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let us know what your favorite Robin Williams movie is. If it's Dead Poet Society, tell us what you loved about it because we all loved it. Yeah. Outside of that, Zach is on TikTok. He he's doing a lot of reviews, Reactions, reviews, and showing off his Blu-ray set and cool things like this Rocktopus. And he you can follow him at Film Beast. Film Beast. <laughs> Gavin's doing a lot of gaming stuff. He streams every time he plays games, basically on Twitch. So check him out. Which is Boopity Games. And if you want to check us out, check me out anywhere else. It's XX Boopity XX. Outside of that, obviously we are on all major platforms. We don't do a whole lot. We're gonna get better about that one day. It's gonna happen eventually. Nick's in charge of that, so blame him. Yeah. God. yeah. Outside of that, it's, it's time, time to, to split. split.